on guys nemesis here welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be pushing a little bit of ladder so please make sure to like and subscribe and let's go okay so we got our first game here against ryo um we got zap pekka battle ram and electro wizard let's see what he wants to do here uh it's a pretty solid hand but nothing too crazy he's not gonna do anything so i'm gonna go ahead and take the time and say that oh gosh I'm going to go ahead and take the time to say that thank you guys so much for 500 subs. I think we hit that like four or five days ago. And I'm like, I'm really thankful for it. Like, I really appreciate the support. So thank you guys so much. We're going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. in the back here against his Ghost. He doesn't have Bandit or... Um, okay, we're going to have to ignore that actually. Um, because anything we play is just going to die to that. So we're going to have to Tower Trade, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I did. I was on, honestly not expecting um, this deck. But it is what it is. We're going to go for a Royal Ghost over here, and then we're going to go for a Bandit and Electro Wizard because I'm- Oh, his Queen, what the heck? Okay, that's 7 Elixir he just played. Okay, he's like 3 Elixir or something right there, so that should be a nice tower trade right there, and let's go. Hopefully the P.E.K.K.A. hits the Queen just one time, but I don't think it will. His Queen is pretty broken with the DPS, so yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and use this Battle Ram over here to defend against his Royal Ghost. And I know he's going to try to pop the Queen ability again, so hopefully it it isn't 15 seconds yet. And it was 15 seconds for the Queen to get her ability back, which is pretty unfortunate. But it is what it is. And then we're just going to go for a Royal Ghost. Interesting uh, Bandit on his end. I don't really agree with that. Uh, because he's, he's going to have to like, Lumberjack me, I think. And I wonder... Um... I'm going to take the Zap to Cycle, and just to kind of DPS that uh, Barbarian Barrel, because if you do like the Ghost plus the Zap combo, your Ghost is going to get a nice shot on the tower, which is pretty clean. Let's see what else he wants to do here. We're going to wait for him to make the play, so yeah. Um, okay, we're just going to take the Fireball. You know, pretty skillful play right there, you know, just queening the pocket like that, but okay. Uh, we're going to Royal Ghost this Royal Ghost, and see what he wants to do here. I think we're going to go for like a battle ram over here and then we're going to wait for his bandit because I know he's probably just going to play another bandit soon. We're actually going to peck at this because that's pretty good value. And let's see what he wants to do here. Okay, he's going to go in. And I think we're going to go for like a, uh, a fireball. Oh my gosh, we missed. We missed. We missed. We missed. <gasps> <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next game. Okay, so we've got our next game here against Boston 1. We got Battle Ram, P.E.K.K.A., Magic Archer, and Fireball. Let's see what he wants to do. Uh, this is a pretty solid hand, but nothing too crazy. You know, no bandits or guts. Okay, he's just going to go for an Elixir Golden first play. Man, what is up with these like players, man? I swear. Okay, so this is a pretty tricky matchup because you have to like defend perfectly. Um, if you don't defend perfectly, you literally just lose your tower. What I'd like to do is I like to take my ghost for the elixir blobs, and he's just gonna go for a um, a uh, inferno drag eye drag. So we're gonna wait a little bit too, and then oh, did we just miss that? I think we did. Okay, we're gonna go for electro wizard high, and then I think at this point, okay, we're just gonna go opposite lane. Uh, that, like I said, that was a terrible start. Um, at least we didn't lose our tower. Things could have definitely been worse. Uh, our, uh, Barbarians are getting a lot of damage over there, which is pretty solid for us. I think we're going to also play a Bandit over there to potentially take his tower. So, yeah. That's, I think that's what we're going to do here. Unless he plays, like, a Battle Healer or Night Witch or something on this thing. Okay, he's got Leap Barbarians, too. That's pretty, pretty unfortunate for us. Okay, well, yeah, that's that's all we can do at that point. Um, let's see. So he's got to leap our barons as well, which is pretty unfortunate. But I think we could bounce back. I'm pretty optimistic about this. So let's see here. I want to wait for them. Okay, so there it is. There's the, you know, elixir golem in the back. And uh, yeah, he's got tornado. I gotta definitely watch out for that as well. Um, I think what I gotta do is I'm gonna magic archer over here because this is going to you know dps down the battle healer and stuff we're also going to take down this fireball over here we're also going to electro or electro wizard over here and then um and then we're going to start with like a really big dueling push here 
Uh, I think we're going to go for a peck at the bridge over here, and then we're immediately going to battle ram up this lane as well, just to make a really big dual lane push here. I'm going to take this fireball on top of this, um, that right there, perfect. Hopefully the, um, okay, the little battle healer did die, which is really good for us. So we're just going to magic archer right there, or we're going to take this electro wizard high. We're going to um, use a zap on top of this Inferno Dragon. And then... And then I think... Oh my gosh, he took her tower with that. What the heck? Okay, we're just going to take this Fireball. And hopefully that should be game again. Oh no, it's not. Not yet, not yet. Um, but we're just going to keep the pressure up. Because I know he's super low on Elixir. And that should be game. So, really well played by us. Like I said, it's really tricky to defend those. You have to have like perfect micro interactions to defend those pushes really well. So, let's go to the next game. Okay, we got our next game here. Uh, let's see what he is. He's gonna give the good luck. I got Battle Ram, Royal Ghost, Zap, and Fireball. And let's see here. He's gonna go for Ice Golem in the back. I'm just gonna go for the Battle Ram over here. Let's see. He's got Musketeer, so this is a hard counter. This is 2.6. Uh, I just gotta be really passively in single elixir, make sure I take no damage at all. I think I'm going to take, I don't know if I wanna take the Fireball. I'm actually going to just play really passively here. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to predict the skeletons. And I messed up the timing. I should have waited a little bit longer. I got to play this Royal Ghost on top of here. And let's see. He's going to go for an Ice Golem Kite, which is totally fine. Um, I'm just going to wait for my Elixir to regenerate right now. Because I can't play too aggressively. Ghost does get one shot, which is pretty solid for us. Um, I wish I would have played my Electro Wizard sooner on top of the Hog, otherwise, because it, it would have only gotten one shot if I played it a little bit quicker. We're going to go for this Bandit over here, just in case, like, for a Hog prediction. And let's see here. Uh, it's going to be chilling out. Okay, he's going to go for that. I have to play my... Um... Oh, okay, that's, that's definitely game. There's no way I'm coming back from this. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's see here. He's probably going to kite with an Ice Golem. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to go for a Magic Archer in the middle. Yeah, he's going to play his Musketeer there. I th I can't go in with the Royal Ghost because like it's just going to put me too, too low of Elixir. So I got to defend this Musketeer first before I can go in. So he's going to go in right here again. I'm going to go for like a Fireball right here. Just like that. Just take no damage, essentially. Um, and then I got to play this Bandit as well. Because I know that I was going to get a shot on the tower, and there we go, so. Let's see. I'm going to play this P.E.K.K.A. Now that it's double elixir, I could definitely start playing P.E.K.K.A.s, like, next to my weaker side tower. He's going to go for a hog right there. I'm just going to go for my um, Royal Ghost over here. And then he's probably going to protect with skeletons for this right there, so I'm going to just take the Zap on top of that. Uh, let's see here. He's going to go for a little log. He's going to go for Ice Spirit. Just all the protection he can get. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Okay, um, we're going to go for an Electro Wizard right here. And uh, I think that takes no damage, yeah. I think I got to go for a Royal Ghost on top of this Musketeer. And we should be chilling here. I think I want to go for a... Uh... No, I can't because he's going to play a Hog Rider with that Ice Golem. So I got to like... Kill this ice golem before I could play any Pekka's right now. I'm go for a magic archer in the middle so we can't get any fireball value. And I think I'm gonna take the fireball myself on top of that musketeer. I think I also need to start going for like prediction um uh, zaps and stuff because this is like literally the only way I can win at this point. It's like no way of coming back. Especially because he's got King Tower activation, but uh let's see here. We're gonna go for a bandit opposite lane. We're gonna go for probably a magic archer in the middle. I think that might be fireball value, actually. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm going to go for a um, Paco right here again. Okay. We're just going to eat this damage here and hope for a big push. Because I'm not expecting anything crazy, to be honest. This is 2.6 we're talking about, you know. This thing, this deck could defend anything. <laughs> um, let's go for a Royal Ghost in the middle. Let's go for a Bandit over here. Let's go for a Fireball Zap. Let's go for a Magic Archer. Let's go for... Okay, Bandit got some damage. 
we're gonna go for another Pekka in the back, I think. And let's see. Okay, he's gonna go for opposite lane. I'm just gonna go for my Electro Wizard on top of that. We're going to play our Battle Room in the back here. Play the Royal Ghost in front of this so we can Ice Golem kite me. I'm gonna play this Fireball high to potentially knock the Musketeer forward a little bit. We're gonna play the Marcher in the middle. Uh, Electro Wizard down here. Um, yeah. This is really bad though. Like I said, I, I can't really do anything about this. He's gonna Fireball this too, yeah. It's really unfortunate. I'll take the zap, but my prediction zaps aren't going to work right there. And that is going to be game. He's going to take the win. Really hard matchup, but I tried my best. Gave it everything I had. So he played well. And we're going to give him the good game. So let's go ahead and jump to the next game. Okay, we've got our next game here. Uh, probably our final game against David M. We got Fireball, uh, Electro Wizard, Batteram, and Pekka. Let's see here. I think I'm just going to chill a little bit. If he doesn't make a play, I'll just make a play, like a battle ram in the back or something. Okay, I'm just going to use like this battle ram to like kite it forwards like that and see what he wants to do. He's bowler, so I think this is going to be um, that, uh, what's it called, the Lumber Loon deck with the freeze and stuff like that. So it's a pretty good matchup in single elixir. Like You have a really good matchup in single, but when it hits double elixir, it gets really tricky like to deflect or to make offensive pushes. He might NATO this actually to, uh, okay, he's not going to. I think I'm going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. in the back here. But he has Golden Knight, so I don't know what deck this is. Oh, Ghost is going to get a nice shot on top of the tower as well. He might also use his dash ability. I think I'm going to Magic Archer this as well. But this is kind of looking like a Balloon deck or maybe a Graveyard deck as well. So let's see here. Okay, um, I'm just going to go for this Battle Ram over here just to see what he is. Okay, he's bowler. He's going to bowler that. I wonder if he... Okay, he does need of that. So I know he's really, really low on Elixir right now. Um, so this is going to get a lot of damage. I might have to eat this bowler, to be honest with you. Actually, I'm going to Electro Wizard in the middle, potentially. That, like, yeah. That's what I was going to say. That's going to catch, like, both of them. Just like that. Really good defense on our part. I'm really happy with how that played out. And I don't know if he's, like, Balloon or Graveyard, but I'm pretty sure he's Graveyard Control, so. I think I would rather play Graveyard, but I'm not too sure. I'm just going to go for a Royal Ghost over here and see what he wants to do. Yeah, he's going to go for a Barbarian Barrel. I'm just going to take a Zap on top of that, and I'm just going to go for a Magic Archer in the back because I think he's getting ready to make his Graveyard push. I'm going to band it over here. Okay, he's Lightning. That's very interesting. Um, I'm going to go for a Battle Run High just in case because he wants to use his Dash ability probably. And I think I might go for like a, um, wait, is he like, I'm just going to take this fireball to cycle. I don't know exactly what he is. And, um, I think I'm going to go for a, uh, magic archer down here. And okay. That's what I kind of figured. He might've been an electro giant. Um, because now that I think of it, he had lightning. So that kind of caught my surprise right there. So I think that's going to be game. Actually, we put that super well, um, we definitely took advantage of like early in the game where he like he was forced to play so much elixir and he also used the NATO so like and he had no bar barrel as well so my bandit was going to get like a guaranteed connection so that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video guys thank you so much for watching and i'll do more videos in the future